Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem is partitioning into minimum number of deci binary numbers. A decimal number is called deci binary if each of its digits is either 0 or 1 without any leading zeros. For example, 101 and 1100 are deci binary, while 112 and 01 or 3001 are not. Also, 0011 would also not be deci binary. Given a string n that represents a positive decimal integer, like any integer here, return the minimum number of positive deci binary numbers needed so that they sum up to this number. So here with this number 32, we would have a minimum of three deci binary numbers, 11, 11, 10, to equal 32 here. Um, so if you read the hints, they kind of give you the answer straight out, but uh, just imagine, like we're gonna ignore the hints for now, like what would we do if we want to figure out how to get to 32 with deci binary numbers? Well, we know that it has to have one we can't have leading zeros, right? So basically we want to subtract the maximum number that we possibly can um, with this first digit here. So here we want to subtract 11, which is going to equal what? 21, right? Now we're, now when we have 21, what do we want to uh, subtract? Well, again, we want to subtract the maximum that we can in front here. So that would be what? 110, right? Or sorry, 11. And this leads us leaves us with 10. And then we would just subtract that to equal 10. So this would be the basic formula. Uh, but you can imagine that any number really doesn't matter. Uh, we kind of result in the same thing. Like see with this number here, uh, we're going to return at the very least, at least eight numbers because each one of these, we know that the leading zero can all, or the leading number has to be a one. So at the very least, we have to return um, uh, eight, right? Because that's the first one. But say that it had, this was flipped. It was like two eight. Well, it actually doesn't matter because we can subtract like whatever 111 and then minus 111 at first, but we're going to have uh, this maximum digit here that's going to be six. So at the very least, we know that we have to return like uh, something like this as well, uh, uh, at least six more times. So essentially what this means is we're going to have to subtract one uh, deci binaries for the maximum digit number inside this number here. So we know like if we look at the hints or the examples, every answer is just basically the maximum digit. It's like three, this one's eight, and this one's going to be nine. And really, if you think about it carefully, the maximum number that we can never uh, have here is always going to be nine. Okay, so uh, all we need to do then is just look at our string and return the maximum digit inside there. So what we can do is just say, find the max of, uh, let's see, four digits in N, we're going to get the max of integer, well, do I even need to convert it? Well, let's just convert it just in case, the integer D, and we just gonna return that. And that's just gonna be our answer. So let's make sure this works. And there we go, accepted. So time complexity is O of N, uh, N being the number, uh, the length of the string. And that's it. So it's a pretty easy problem. All right. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.